So you think you want to teach middle school mathematics. Well, this is an example of some of the decisions that you will have to make. So this is unit four, lesson 12, activity two, passing on the trail. And in this problem, you have Han walking from the lake to the parking lot and Jada walking from the parking lot towards the lake. And they're going to, going to pass or meet at some time. And so you need to figure out what time that is and what distance that is from the parking lot. So you use these two equations. To do that, you set those two equations equal to each other. You subtract 6 tenths. You add 2 and 4 tenths. You get this equation here. You divide by 5 and 6 tenths. You use a calculator and figure out that the time is 75 hundredths of an hour. So in 3 fourths of an hour, they meet. Use that time in one of the two equations and you figure out that they meet at three miles from the parking lot. When I, try, when I teach a problem like this, I try to use the correct mathematical properties and the appropriate mathematical language. So I talk about using the additive inverse, a negative six tenths. Use the additive inverse again, a positive two and four tenths. Use the multiplicative inverse, one over five and six tenths. And I always use fractions as much as I can. Factor out the sevens, factor out the twos, and you get an answer of three-fourths without using a calculator. Then plug that three-fourths back into one of the equations, and you know that three-fourths of 24 is 18. 24 divided by four is six. Three times six is 18. So this is gonna be a negative one and eight tenths. So you're gonna get an answer of three miles. But importantly, go back to the equations, and as you solve the equation, show students the connection to the graphs. So this distance right here, four and eight, or the difference right here, four and eight tenths minus six tenths is four and two tenths. That's the distance that Han and Jada are apart as they start walking towards each other. And they walk towards each other at a rate of five and six tenths miles per hour. That's the sum right here, three and two tenths plus two and four tenths. And of course, they're going to meet in less than an hour because they're not five and six tenths miles apart. They're only four and two tenths miles apart, which is three fourths of five and six tenths. So it's three fourths of an hour. So if you use the, the correct language, the appropriate properties, you will continually provide opportunities for students to understand mathematics at a much deeper level.